Last week, we stated our second town key and explored some more places on Crete, including Elephanisi Beach, before sailing north to the island of Kathira. This week, we make our way to another amazing beach called Simos Beach on Elephanisos Island, located between the South Peloponnese and the island of Kathira. Stay tuned. I'm Janae, and this is Jason. We've embarked on the adventure of a lifetime. We're two ocean-loving Aussies traveling the world by sailboat and making movies along the way. Tune in every week for new episodes. Enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe. Jason's been sailing for the last few hours in the dark. It's so nice to wake up to this. Mm. I'm excited. We're going to a nice beach today. And look how calm it is. It's like glassed off. Stunning. Anyway, better get up. Baby. Yeah, we've arrived. It's only 7.30 in the morning. What time did you leave? Like 4 a.m.? Uh, Pretty early because it was dark for a while. Yeah, we left at 4. Because I was snoozing and I kept waking up. I'm like, it's so dark still looking out the window. I got up at 3.50 actually. Wow. Because that line was just rattling inside the mast and oh, I was like... I couldn't hear it. Doing my head in. Yeah. I've like, just fixed it. So... This is one of two bays, so there's just like a little sandbar there that connects the two beaches up. So I don't think this one's as nice as the other side, um, but this one's a little bit more suitable to anchor. So we'll be here for the night and we'll go over there and check it all out. Have a little walk on the beach and it's so clear that like you can see, I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but you can see the ripples on the ocean floor, it's so clear. And this is about seven meters deep, so it's not super shallow. Yeah. So it's gonna have some brekkie, and then we can enjoy the day. I might get the drone up, show you guys what it's like. Yeah, huge drone shot.
looks amazing, hon. Cheers. I feel like I'm having a cocktail <laughs> and I'm on a mad holiday right now. Mm. Mm. Do you put alcohol in that? Mm -mm. No. Can I test alcohol? Like vodka or something? It's got coffee, you also got coffee in it. Post-workout swim! Oh my god, it's freezing! mainland of Greece on the edge of the Peloponnese and I didn't think it was going to be this nice to be honest. Beautiful hey, I'm so glad we stopped here. Oh there's, there's some firewood just there. Oh yeah, we should definitely have a fire because like no one will be here later. Well I'll go spear fishing and I'll catch a big like Dentex or something, so we can just cook it on the. <laughs> no, we'll have to scale that. Maybe like a Mackie. Oh, this is stunning. Look at that. Beautiful. So this is like the end of the, the little kind of peninsula between the two beaches. Beautiful. And there's a tight like 30 meter gap between it. Pretty cool, two bays. Right next yeah. To you don't see that too often. No. You comfy there, darling? Be naked? I'm not naked. And there's people on the boat just, I mean, over the <laughs> beach just over there. And you're naked over here. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. Have fun. Oh, there's more white caps now. Have fun tanning. Yeah. Yeah, I got super jibs with my lure. She was going on, she was saying it was like the best in the market. There's, if you put it out for like 10 minutes, you'll catch a fish. And I stuck it out for 12 hours and I didn't catch one fish. So yeah, I'm not happy about that. That's a big statement to make though. You're going to catch a fish in 10 minutes. What do you mean, mate? We're in Greece. There is none. Maybe she didn't say that. Maybe I'm just putting it on a bit. Ooh. Maybe. But there are other ways to catch a fish. And if I'm not lucky with the... There's not much fish in Greece, to be honest. Like it's definitely overfish, which is like you see so many fishing boats with nets and it's so wrong. I'm surprised they even get anything with a net even. I reckon, they, I reckon they're struggling. But I yeah. Just need to stop serving bloody seafood here. Yeah, a lot of people must love seafood though. Yeah, like there's so many seafood tavernas, but it's like where are you getting this fish from, honestly? Yeah. There is none. And what's that? Yeah. This is like heavily exported somewhere beforehand, but yeah, there's like stuff all fish in the bed. Yeah. But I'm hopefully going to catch one. So that, oh, fuck you. He's not saying that to me, by the way. He's saying that to his... Whatever he's doing, I'm going to And I'm just going to tan. 
Enjoy. Thank you. I hope this is something Jason to shoot up. That'll be hard here, even if I don't catch it. Have fun. See ya, honey. It just got windy again. We're gonna have a beach fire tonight. Just us two. So I'm preparing some steak skewers and jacket potatoes. Um, so we'll cook them on the fire. Um, I've just like pre-prepared the jacket potatoes, so I put them in the oven for a bit so they don't take so long. Take a cocktail over and enjoy the sunset. We might have the whole beach to ourselves, I think. There's um, quite a few boats on the other side, um, but no one here. So I don't know if it's like part of a regatta or something, but I'll show you. Probably a bit hard to see, but there's like close to 10 boats over there and they're all rocked up one after the other, really close together. So who knows, but I think we're gonna have a fire over here anyway. So not on the beach there on, on this little beach here. Should be nice. Jason's still warming up in the sun after his second spearfish for the day. Tell him what happened. Oh, so stiff. I caught this pretty decent sized fish. And um, like the biggest one you would have caught so far. Yeah, the biggest one I've caught. And the spear went through and the, the I don't know what it's called, the flappy thing that catches the fish went through, but I shot him a little bit too low and he, when I pulled, the, I should have just kind of pushed the spear in a bit more, bang it up, but yeah, it, um, it got away. And then it was stunned and I was following it for, I don't know, five, 10 minutes and all of a sudden it come back to life again and ran away from me. You didn't want to try and spear it again? I tried to. Oh, right. I missed. Oh, oh well. Next time. Next time. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if we've chosen a bad spot here or... What do you mean? They just, they just know something better over there. It's pretty nice, but I feel a bit isolated. And Oh, you like feel like you're missing out. Well, I feel like we don't have any mates. You know, all the mates are over there, and you know, I feel like that little like kid at school that used to get bullied and. Oh, look at this! Oh, this is so dramatic. Wait, stop! You're going forward. I'm Can you hold this? Forward. It's not easy as it is. Not alone. That bloody ladder in the way. You're pretty easy though. No. Roll out stuff for a big fire. Where do you want to have it? Where it is. It's maybe like on the dunes a little bit, so it's kind of out of the way for people walking. Yeah, but we also don't want it to be where there's bushes. No, like the dunes over there. But I still want the sun sunset. We can have it like here at that point. Do you want people to come over? Yeah, come over. And eat our food? No, not that. <laughs> Just like a little party on the beach. Are they ripples or is that like rocks? Ripples. Well, I found this spot that's like this, where you can build a fire. It's already like that. Is that perfect or what? <laughs> Blocked from the wind. We can look out that way. Well, there's all these little things. I can come help you. Yeah, for starting it, hey.
Firecrackers going off. I don't know why that is. They make candles like this, wiki candles that like sound like a firecracker. <laughs> yeah. What? We'll just wait till that burns off and then we'll just cook it on the coal. Yeah. You reckon? Enjoy it. Watch like that. How good is this for a fire dinner? Yeah, yeah. Jacket potatoes. And steak skewers with eye fillet. Eye fillet steak skewers, which Shanty. some would probably say you're really wrecking the eye fillets, but. That's all we had, so. Yeah. Makes for a delicious skewer. Oh, King has. Such a beautiful day. They're um, marinated too, so should be good. That's all she wrote today. <laughs> we'll see you in the morning. We got a we got a 20 hour passage most quite possibly tomorrow. We'll see how we go. Highly doubt it, come on. We're living the life right now, so I really hope we have a nice hour tomorrow and it doesn't get all ruined from our nice couple of days that we've had. Yeah, you can't have two good days in a row. <laughs> uh. Anyway, we'll see you in the morning. <laughs>